I'm Sadie and this is my channel. Today we're spinning some <laughs> fine yarn on the Nano. Um, it is going to be a three ply. This is my second bobbin. So I'll just wait for everyone to come in. And probably say all that again. <laughs> Hi, Chris. I'm good, thank you. It's Bank Holiday Monday here. Um, and it was Easter Sunday yesterday, which is why I didn't come live last night. That's why I've left it till today. Is this the wool you posted on Instagram? Yes. <laughs> Different colour in this light, but yeah. Hi everyone coming in. Hi Hecha, how are you darling? So yeah, I'm spinning it's super fine merino. This little bit's got soy fibre in and the other bit has got mulberry silk in. Um, and I'm just mixing them up on the bobbin because <laughs> I'm spinning that fine. I'm getting about 50 grams. I think it's around 45 gram onto the bobbin. And I've still got plenty of room to keep going. I just, so I've added extra fiber so I can keep going. So, that's something that shouldn't be there. So yeah, I'm getting me three bobbins. I'm not sure yet if it's still, yeah, cool. If it's still as pretty as what I think it's going to be, it's probably not going to make be made into anything because it'll be my first three ply, true three ply with different blends. And um, it's just so pretty. If, if it still looks like sea glass at the end of it all, <laughs> I really don't think I'll use it for out other than looking pretty on my shelf. So, yeah. It is a slow spin because of how fine it is, but I don't mind. It took two days to fill my other bobbin. And I started this one this morning. Well, I say this morning. About half past 12. So just going into afternoon when I finished it. The other one. And then I started this one. Thank you for the thummy. I am concentrating more on what I'm drafting simply because of how fine it is as well and I've tried doing it like this so that you can actually see <laughs> how fine it is next to what I'm wearing so you can see what I'm spinning How is everybody? How you all been? I'm actually doing this through YouTube today, so if I miss your comment, it's because it disappears on the screen. And with me spinning so fine, I don't really want to be stopping to touch the screen, if that makes sense. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Hannah. 
Yes, had a, a lovely weekend, thank you very much. We did the Easter egg hunt yesterday <coughs> with the big bunny, the big white chocolate bunny that they had at the end. We enjoyed it. Even I got a lovely uh, Ferrero Rocher Easter egg and Chris got a Lindor Easter egg. Time to move my hook again. I do like my nano for this because I can keep my hook. Is there a trick or a secret to spinning thin, spinning super thin yarn? Right. Um, on the nano, it's easy, um, and that's not me being big headed or anything. It's just because. You can really slow it down. Take your time, make sure you're going as fine as you can and letting the twist get into it and move. Um, and then put it onto the bobbin. When you're spinning on a wheel, when you're first starting, I advise um, getting your roving or your comb top as thin as possible so into thin strips or thinner strips than that um, and break it down you can buy pencil roving that's good for spinning long draw um, nice and fine and you can pre-draft that as well but practice Practice is all I can say. I've been doing this four years now. It's coming up to. I didn't realise how long it had been. And I'm just, I'd say, just starting to get consistency down to a T. And now I'm practising on getting as fine as I can. And then it's getting as, and then going back thick as well again if that makes sense so that I don't lose the ability to go thick I just stop that while I stop that and move that I can go like that good good I had an egg but a little one found it and decided he liked that too oh bless him spin faster Ah. Uh, not always. I want to say yes, but if you've never spun very thin, this is why I had. I said on the nano, it's easy because I'll show you. I'll slow it down as much as I can cope with being slow. Right? No, oh, that's too slow. So that's not going too quick. And I can pull it out and I can go along nice and slowly. And then when I'm ready for that to be, I can do that. Let that twist go into that section and then move. And then do it again. And you can actually do this on the spinning wheel. On the one that you, you treadle with. It's just... I find it easier when so far doing a three ply because I ain't got enough bobbins to do a three ply with the Kromsky or the Ashford. Whereas I've got six bobbins with my Nano, so I can do the three ply that I want and then ply it together onto the Kromsky or onto the, what do you call it? Right, I'm turning this back up to my speed. So we'll back up. But you'll notice I do exactly the same. I do that, but because I'm higher speed, I don't need to wait as long before I'm moving. 
and that's why I like the Nano for nice fine yarn. Canadian production wheel, perfect for a nice fine yarn because it is quick. Um, and if you are used to spinning quick, a bit like myself because I, I learned on Gwen. You can go that little bit quicker. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not a professional, Chris. Um, I spin just because I like spinning. I don't go into the twist. I don't go into the ratios. I don't go into any form of mathematics because it boggles my mind and it makes spinning too technical. I like to spin because I like to spin. And I like to make things, if that makes sense. I leave all the technical stuff to Evie and Trish. I just, I want you all to just join me in what I do know. <laughs> but yeah, I don't really go into ratios and twists and all that. I spin for the love of spinning. Otherwise, I'd lose it. I'd lose everything. <laughs> Hi, sweet pea. Are you spinning on Nano? Yes. I got a nano about two months ago. Hi Jenna. Not a problem, Chris. I'm sorry, that might say, seem like a rant or like I were having a, a bit of... But no, I weren't having a rant and I weren't being off. I was just... Yeah, I'm not that technical-minded when it comes to... I can just show you what I do and what I find easiest. Because I know I'm doing a short forward draw right now and I haven't pre-drafted the fibre. I've just made sure it's nice and fluffy. Um, and I'm not counting how many strands of uh, fibres going in or all that. Don't know about the twist. I couldn't even tell you even if I put a control card up to it because my eyes are terrible. I can see, but I'm not that good. I don't know how people have got the patience, to be fair, to check twist and stuff. I know exactly what you mean. I just spin faster or slower and on the big one or little disc. Yeah, exactly. I know of some of the terms like grist, twist, ratio, etc. But I just spin. Yeah, and that, that's me. Exactly. So with stuff like that, I leave it to Evie and whoever. Are you still up for custom orders, Doody? Uh no, I was, I want, to, I don't know how to say it, I put too much pressure on myself and it started turning into a chore rather than me doing it for the love of it, so right now I'm just doing it for the love of doing it, if that makes sense. I feel like I've sounded like I snapped at Chris and I feel like she's gone. Totally understand. It does love. Cool. That's fair enough. <laughs> I feel like I'm letting people down, but it's like 
right now I need to think of me, not the world. Uh, I feel like I haven't tried silk yet and I feel like it might tear my fingers to bits. I don't think it tear your fingers to bits, but if you've got a nano, I reckon you'd be able to spin it just right. Gone where? No, that's fair enough. I thought you'd gone, sweetheart. <laughs> Doing dishes, you never let me down, lady. Good. That's all right then. I have people pressure me to sell on Etsy, etc. It's too much pressure. It's about helping my head not making for others exactly yeah and that's what i'd forgotten i took all the fun out of what i was doing absolutely not letting folk down the things we learned Ooh, it disappears learn from you your channel is amazing oh thank you i've got a six you should be able to do it with a six hannah um just slow it down until you get used to how it drafts you may have to strip it down into tiny bits like that big but nice and long um but i believe you should be able to do it now if if you don't want your fingers in my opinion getting shredded don't don't spin linen don't spin flax that stuff will terrorise your fingers. Or it, it did mine. <laughs> <coughs> Hi, Crystal. So yeah, if I, I advise, if you've got an electric wheel and you just, you want to try something for the first time, I advise doing it on your, little, your, your nano or whatever and just giving it a go, but on a slower scale. And then if you need the twist to go in, just hold it and wait and let that twist in because you know that that bit's how you want it and then you can carry on, adjust figure it out where you want it go to where you need to let the twist build up sort of like that kind of, if that makes sense i bet spinning hemp on that would shred your fingers too yes i i think it would and i'm just joining with just little wisps i don't know if you saw that and then I don't get any join marks. Come on. Big no like on the linen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bloody awful stuff on me. I like that we can see your wheel working. But is your back okay in this position? Believe it or not, I'm absolutely fine like this. It's... Uh, so when I sit up, that I'll feel it. I'll be all right for for now. I'm not actually that far down because my sofa's low, which is why I can't spin in here with the spinning wheel because it's too low. I have to sit in that chair there. <laughs> so not all bad. It's not too bad.
Yeah, do you know, Crystal, it, they just, I'm not monetized, so they just kind of tell me off and it's, I don't understand, it's not like I'm self-promoting a rope like that and it's hidden, I'm not doing all so I'm not too bothered. To be fair, how is the job coming along? I've not got it yet, uh, but I have passed my uh, forklift test. Crack me up the other day when you said titanium, <laughs> woman, because I couldn't help but sing it as I was reading. <laughs> I did same, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like, I had to giggle. I'm like, I'm not bionic woman. Um, titanium. Because <laughs> I've got titanium screws and rods in my back. <laughs> yeah, you're passing your test. Yay for passing your test. <laughs> Thank you, Crystal. <laughs> yeah, I can now drive a forklift truck. All fun and games. This is a slow going of filling a bobbin, I do know. But these things happen. So, yeah, in this uh, yarn, there is super fine merino. There's soy fibre in this bit, but in the next bit I'll be using, there is um, mulberry silk. So we get the shine on that one. So, yeah. It just reminds me of uh, sea glass, especially when the mulberry silk bit goes on because there's more blues and greens in that. But it just reminds me of sea glass. Have you heard the little thing working? It's, I don't think I've popped my uh, bobbin together properly. Have you seen it wobbling? <laughs> oh dear, never mind. It's the first time I've noticed that. I missed out. Oh. Thank you, Spinning Saga. <laughs> oh, there's something. Before my mother passed away, she had started a jumper, finished the back, front, and most of one arm. Are you going to finish it and wear it? That would be so cool, Chris. I transformed the pattern pattern and I'm finishing the second arm now. Fantastic! That's so cool! <laughs> oh, I like that. I really like that. That's so sweet. We have to... You'll just have to excuse me, I'm pulling it backwards just ever so slightly because there's going to be a valley and I don't do valleys. Yes, I intend to wear it and make another if it fits well. Good for you. I like that. I like that idea. It's nice. Yeah, I don't like dips and valleys on my... Uh, bobbins and sometimes I can be a bit too anal when it comes to my bobbins it's only a navy acrylic yarn but it but I love what I'm seeing hey, it don't matter if it's just acrylic yarn does it most of us clothes manufactured in uh, acrylic I won't worry about it sweetheart Just think, if you do like it, you can spin enough for your next one and make make it out of your own hand spun. Sounds like a plan. 
I've done loads of yarns recently. I do need to show everyone. But I'm going to have to go live during the day so that I've got proper light so that you can see it. I know it can get hot wearing acry acrylic, but in winter, you'll be fine. That's if you have a proper winter. Still a bit of a dip in it. Oh, yeah, like it's just getting too much there, I need to move. So you save it for winter, that's what you do. And then the one that you make, you can make in say a super fine merino. And you get about six days. Well, another one you can make in super fine merino because super fine merino, I've just found out, even though I'm not a great fan of it, or I think it's slightly overrated. I do like it, don't get me wrong. But it's good for in the summer because it's porous i think it said and it soaks up you sweat but eats the odor if that makes sense so you don't stink and then in winter it keeps you warm i'm sure it was merino quite shocked I think the word porous is right it's very quiet there love what have you done with the lads <laughs> and the cat uh, well Chris is upstairs Hunter's in bed because he's got school in the morning and the cat's probably sat with Chris she loves him to bits. So I've got a bit of time, a bit, a bit of time to myself. It's lovely. Although I'm surprised you can't hear the washer in the background. It's decided to be noisy all of a sudden and start adding water for a rinse. <laughs> it is fantastic. <laughs> oh, look, I can see all your little spanners. I can see who's looking after me. I keep forgetting I'm on YouTube. I might start doing it through YouTube more and trying to get my phone and the computer set up so that you can see me and the wheel a bit like what Trish does but I really don't know how to do that sort of stuff I'm so not technical minded and I don't know anyone that is either Tell you what I do need, a little drink. Right, so I'm gonna stop and I'll show you how I add me fiber in a minute. Because we're down to the last few wisps. I won't add it yet, it'll be further down, but it's on fire. I'm just gonna have a quick drink. Right, so it's this one this time. It's a lot longer. It's got silk in it, and it's got the greens and the turquoise. And so this one next. And I'm going to use this end because there's less wisps. 
pull that out of it. So I'm still drafting even on these little bits. So, technically, we shouldn't see a join when I do this, because I'm still drafting those other ones as I draft that on. So, yeah, that's how I connect my next bit of fibre. You still see it now. I'm gonna have to put it. I need a dark, something darker, daughter. Hi, Sarah. Bye, Sarah. No, I didn't blend this. It's two different tops that I got from World of Wool. I think one was called Creme Brulee and another one was something else. Can't quite remember. But me and Hunter dyed them. Um, and we shove loads of like old dyes in that just needed emptying. I needed, they needed to be used, and we got some lovely browns. And it, they look like when they were in the braid form. I'd say little becks with pebbles on one of them, and another one was more like sand dunes or some along those lines so I've just kind of added them together so that I got enough yarn on each bobbin to pick, to make a right nice big three ply I was just going to ask that Chris is it your blend or do 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 remember this die night you were using the crock pot. Yes, I think. And we were just using stuff up. And this was, it was this one. And the creme brulee. And there were loads of... Uh, and Hunter made one that looked like stones. Yeah, which was this one. Hang on, let's just stop this. Just hook that there. Yeah, it looked like loads of pebbles. And it was just so cool. <laughs> so yeah, we're using both of them together because I just, and that's what we're getting. What do you use to stop the dye washing out of the clothes? Our clothes. What do you mean? I don't know. I've never dyed clothes. If I want to get it out of my clothes, I wash it straight away. If it goes on my clothes and I don't want it there, or I'm wearing something that I shouldn't have really been wearing, I'll take it off. I'll run it under the tap with cold water because you don't want to set it with hot water. And I'll put it on a cold wash in the washer and a quick wash so it's done and it comes out looking like new. So after a few washes, does the dye wash out? On clothes? No, it shouldn't. Um, it depends how long it's been there. Or do you need a fixer? I've never dyed clothes before, Jenna. With cotton, you need salt um, or sodium sulfate or whatever it is to help it bind. Um, with wool, or other protein fibres such as silk, you need vinegar or citric acid to help it bind. 
Uh, acrylic you can't do not with unless you use acrylic paint, I think. I think that's what I've seen somewhere, but it goes all crispy and horrible, so I don't advise it. Uh, if you're using natural dyes from plants uh, and mushrooms and things like that, you need mordants, and that's alum, iron, and uh, cream of tartar. And that's the reason why I've never got into natural dyeing because I don't like the idea of mordanting and all that lot and whatnot. Yeah, not for me. I tried once, took too long. Patience doesn't wear that well for waiting. <laughs> I hope that helped. Does that make sense? I've missed some of conversation during chat because it went past so quick when I was chatting uh, plant fibres, protein fibres and um, acrylics and stuff. But yeah, if it's proper cotton it should stay. If it's not proper cotton, then it'll just wash out. You don't have slow mode on. No, I don't have slow mode on. I don't know how to do all that. So if I use a tie dye kit for yarn before it's made, I won't need to do anything else just add um salt so if you're dyeing the cotton yarn jenna before you are using it put salt in the water doesn't matter if it's too much because too much it can never be too much it's not going to harm your fiber in any way um but you can have not enough I go with a tablespoon just to be on the safe side or maybe a bit more. Um, put your cotton yarn into soak before you even think about heating it or anything like that, especially if you want an even coverage. Um, once your yarn soaked for a good while I'd say an hour is usually long enough for cotton <coughs> an hour or longer um, <clears throat> you can then start adding heat if you want or you can add your dye first and then start adding heat I'd add you dye first before adding heat, if that makes sense. If it's just your tie dye kit, they don't tend to have a brand. Um, but I think it's the same one that we all get either from as cheap shops or craft stores or wherever. turned it I need to turn it back that way so you can see what's going on and I need to move my hook I thought it I thought to sort the fiber before dying but didn't think of heat I've only ever done cotton once on the channel um, and I dyed it in my slow cooker, crock pot, whatever you want to call it. And I just found it better to heat it slowly. Um, I found it, it worked better for the cotton.
I used tulip. Bye, Mary Duckbells. Oh, it's hi, Sadie. I thought it said bye, Sadie. Oh, my God. Hi, Mary Bell. How are you, darling? <laughs> oh, goodness. I used tulip. Brand died. Derby, derby, derby. It's gone. Do you ever spin cotton? No, but... All right, Wendy, I'll see you later, darling. I have recently spun uh, baby cashmere, and I do believe... I could now have a go at cotton. I really do. Didn't have to heat set or anything. Rinsed clear. Oh, cool. See, Jenna, this lot will keep you well posted as well. We're a good community. We all help each other out. So, yeah, because I'm on such a fine yarn is the reason why it's taking so long. I've probably already got on here about 500 yards. <laughs> I've, I love cotton blend yarns. Ooh. Do you know, I haven't really, like I said, I haven't tried cotton yet, but I want to try that lotus fibre. Um, it's meant to, you know, the bio nylon that everyone, well, I don't like anyway. I don't really don't like the feel of it or anything. Well, it's biodegradable like that. And it's, but it's a plant fiber. Obviously all plant fibers are biodegradable, but you know what I mean? It's, um, from the lotus plant, obviously. I'm just going to shush because I really sound like I don't have a clue what I'm talking about. <laughs> but yeah, it's called Lotus Fibre. Nearly at the point where I need to turn it up just a little bit. We got some of that bio wool from Paradise last year. I spun it up and I'm now using a Louet fork to make cording with it. Oh, I didn't think of that. I seen a seller on Etsy who had hence a fibre but have no clue what I am doing soon. Doing so to buy a support spindle. You can make a spindle, sweetheart. Divergent, you can make a spindle. Do you want to dye cotton rope? Soak your rope. Oh, you're still talking to Jenna. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, she does a lot of macrame, does Jenna. And boy, is she fantastic. If you don't follow her on Instagram, you need to. She's called Honey Rose Knots. Is our Jenna. And the work she does does with macrame is just beautiful absolutely beautiful dang auto correct <laughs> etsy had a seller that had tensile fiber there we go <laughs> yeah i tried drop spindle but shoulder doesn't accommodate Try a floor spindle. Make yourself one, right? Um, 
so with a, a floor spindle you just you have a long dowel like this long and just your normal whirl at the bottom with a hook at the top and you do that and you go across and then take it off put it on and do it like that and you don't have to come up here or anything like this you can work to the side and work to the side uh, if that helps you're welcome Jenna it's honey rose nuts Maribel Try that divergent, then maybe you're not hurting your shoulders. Could even just uh, grab a broom handle. Not a problem, Hannah. You need to eat as well. Um, you could also get a broom handle to use as a distaff um, proper inside of your chair so you don't have to hold your fibre either so you're not holding fibre or drop spindle you're just moving your spindle and getting your fibre off whatever If that helps, divergent. Because I'm going to be making a floor spindle at some point and I'm going to film it um, and put it on YouTube. Um, I'm also going to design and make a cheap kick spindle as well so that we can all enjoy making our own kick spindles if we want them. If money was better, I would just buy a nano. I will definitely watch the video. <laughs> well, I understand that. Um, divergent, I really do. Why are you squeaking all of a sudden? No. Don't squeak. I don't like squeaks. You lot probably can't hear that, but I can and it's doing my head in. Have y'all heard the song It Costs That Much? Mm, probably. I'd still do Don't He Sort of Ask So. Oh, soda ash. I still do the soda ash soak. And when you make up your soda ash solution, store it. It won't mold. There you go. Lots of crafters are making short videos. Oh yes, yes, I do know that song. It was, it's on TikTok. Cause they're much, cause I said so. I can't remember words, but yeah, I do it. I do know it. Hi Julia, 
How's you, Jules, my darling? That's I don't know what to talk about. I've gone all quiet. It's up to nearly my hour mark and I usually lose train of talking or thinking at this point. So I'm going to spin while you all talk amongst each other because I can't see the uh, chat properly unless I stop and mess with my screen. No one wants to see my finger going like this all the time. So anyway, keep doing that, keep turning it so you keep losing what it looks like. Hi Barbara. It's all right. There's another there's another I'd say nine minutes left. I'm trying to get it so you can see me. And this. <laughs> He's spinning his mesmerizing. Ah, oh, thanks, Jenna. I'm I'm really proud on how well I'm doing at keeping my consistency right now. And I'm just glad I've got the Nano because I don't think I'd have picked it up or got it as quick if I hadn't done it. It is getting long again. <laughs> it doesn't take long to grow. Thank you. It's only been a year and it were. Oh, it's grown. Quite a bit in a year. It's, it's slower than it usually is. I have reoccurring wish to organise a Zoom meeting where we can spin and chat live with each other. No reading. Oh, that'd be amazing, Chris. I do have Zoom on my old phone. Um. That'd be ace. Start off with just a couple of us so that we can get used to sorting it out and I say a couple. I don't know how many a Zoom can hold. See, that's my problem. I don't know to do these stuffs. <laughs> I'd have to be invited. <laughs> you could do a Google Meetup and wouldn't cost you anything. Oh, what's a Google Meet? See, I don't have a clue. I've done Zoom, but only because I've had someone sent me an email to go on and follow. I've never set out up like that. Zoom would be cool. Yeah, if it's similar to Zoom, someone will have to send me an email to click on and whatever. Because I know there's Microsoft Rooms as well, isn't there? There's all sorts. Is Nat here? We'd need longer than an hour, Chris. We'd have to find somewhere else that we can go free on. <laughs> uh, 
I finally joined Zoom and Google Meetings, no clue how to set up either. No, I'm, I'm definitely a joiner. Well, let me ask you all then, what day of the week would be best? For me, a Saturday, just because I never know what's planned during the week. Things pop up with school and stuff like that. <laughs> so, yeah, Saturday a bit best for me. If I don't know about other people. If you're not bothered about noise about seven o'clock in the evening for me which probably be about afternoon in America Middle ish Canada might be a bit earlier well in the morning I'm never too sure on time zones. Midday or evening? Um, either midday or evening, yeah. Because uh, midday, if, if I'm not busy, I can just let Hunter play out with his friends and sit in here and have a spin and a chat. And evening, same real, I can just let him play on his game and we'll sit in the other room and spin and chat. You've got my email and you've got my Instagram, Chris. Seven UK, one PM Central Time. Yeah. So that that works. Five PM for you now. Yeah. Well, it's almost uh, ten PM for us. So for some it'd be two, some it'd be one. I'm best in evening and weekends. Except Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. <laughs> I love that. I'm going to give you guys a close-up on this what we've spun soon. Yeah, about six hours ahead. And I will let you organise it, Chris, because I don't do organisation. I just, I can't do it. I've tried for many years and I've just winged it. I'm surprised my kids are even still alive, to be fair. I'm surprised I've managed to make it to adulthood and become people. I'm not very good at adulting. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, I'm going to stop this for now. Fellow works super long days and wouldn't have time to sit down and concentrate plus look after well oh it's all right hannah don't have to explain sweetheart 
<laughs> it's one of them things. I've had five kids. I know what I know what I know what it's like. Honestly, it just made me giggle the way you you put it. That we're all okay. This coming Saturday, I have a conflicting appointment in Alabama, but the thirtieth is open as far as I know. The thirtieth so far sounds fantastic. I shall let you know if anything comes up. So I'm going to bring this a bit closer and hopefully you'll get a bit of colour definition or come on, do I need to cover it up so you can't come on, focus you monkey Stop focusing on me it's not working it's not focusing focus Focus, stupid. No, camera's not going to focus. It's, it's not having none of it. But anyway, it's super fine. <laughs> Let's just bring that up. You might be able to see. Super fine. Super fine. That's. It just needs turning. There we go. I am going to create an FB page called Spinning. I'm not on Facebook anymore, T. Um, I'm not sure if... Well, I'm assuming these two people have been hacked. Um, you'll have to excuse the face. Um, but I trusted the first and it shook my Facebook down. The second one tried to do it and it nearly shook my Instagram down. Um, so I'm having a few trust issues through messaging on Instagram. So I don't have Facebook. I got locked out of it. I've got no idea to prove that it's mine or anything like that. But I'm not going to blame the person who I think it was because I do believe she got hacked, same as this other person. Um, so I'm going to leave it at that. But if I don't answer through Instagram, do please email at cdspincraft.co.uk. I forgot it then, but I got there by singing. <laughs> Um, so it's come to the end of today's live I'm going to say I love you all so much no matter where you are in the world whether it's morning, afternoon, evening or night time and the camera's having a whole dicky fit I want you to do what you love doing love and light to all all you fantastic people out there, and I'll see you all again soon. Enjoy spinning. Love you. Bye.